Hello, my name is Puddleduck, and welcome back to my Nostalgic Minecraft series here in Minecraft version beta 1.8.1. 1. Uh, today we're going to be continuing on with some building, and we're going to have a look at what we can do in the future as well. Uh, I just came in here to see if there are any red mushrooms ready to be picked. Alas, there were not. Um, so, I've been making some progress, which uh, you'll see as the world loads in. When the world deems fit to load in. Come on. Just this bit here. I know it's doing a very good job of stopping me, like, you know, running into the void. Um, I've finished uh, fencing off this, this bridge, which is great. And I have also started, as you'll see as it loads in ever so slowly, uh, I've started construction of this bridge. So we're just going to precariously, it seems, as the world... Oh, there's a lot of Enderman down there. Um, there's a lot of creepers down there as well. There's a lot of monsters, basically. There we are, the world's starting to render in properly. Um, yeah, I <laughs> ran out of stone, basically, while I was doing this. Uh, it's, it's the exact same design as the bridge that we uh, built in the last episode. It's just over here. <laughs> it's going in a different direction. Um, because the main goal is to go over there in that general direction with a road, path, whatever. Uh, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, um, sorry, I interrupted myself. And basically, because obviously there's a massive divide between the terrain generation and kind of like make a thing out of that, I think it will look good. Uh, so let's just, just double check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, happy with that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one more. Nine. Sorted. And that will obviously be a pillar as well. I am just going to put some uh, torches on these, even though I know it's not finished. Mainly so that we can still work out here uh, in the night time without having to worry about anything. Ooh, oh, oh. bugger. Without having to worry about anything spawning like virtually on top of us. Need to make some more anyway. More torches, that is. I really should, you know, enunciate what I'm doing a bit better. Uh, anyway, moving on to actually sound a little bit more interesting. I was discussing with one of my friends uh, a little bit, um, not long ago, too fair, a few few minutes ago, if I'm honest, uh, about Minecraft back in the day, and he was saying how he really liked Tech It, um, which I also enjoyed. I think we played together at one point, and we built a a factory. It wasn't really a factory, it was more of a processing plant for just about everything. Um, and uh, damn it. And I found that really enjoyable, just the, you know, experiencing the process of all this. And um and what we did, it was it was a good time. Um so I'm just gonna make some more wood. It's not gonna be enough, I know that. But um it would be cool to kind of do tech it again. I'm not sure if modern, if there's a modern equivalent, if Tech It itself is still going. I've honestly not looked into it. Um, it would be interesting to know. So if you do know, feel free to comment down below and tell me. It's just save me doing a Google search. Um, I'm not sure if that would be something that I'd want to make a video on because I, I was never very good at it. I, I always followed, like, I got inspiration from a lot of the Yogscasts videos, especially Duncan. Um, back in the day, sorry to sound old, um, and what he was doing. I always found that a really good inspiration for like my ideas in my world. Um, I, I just enjoyed it. It was, it was good to mess around in. Um, 
And I know I never unlocked like the full potential of everything that you could do in Tekkit, but I always had a good time doing it. Um, so, <coughs> damn it. Back we go. I might have a look at it, because I've uh, set up a, a dedicated, well, it's a private, virtual private server, but effectively dedicated server for this uh, world. I could easily do the same, or just repurpose when I'm not using it for the Minecraft 1.8 series. Oh, sorry, Minecraft Through the Ages series, as it's technically called. Um, I could just use the same server for Tekkit or whatever equivalent there is. I probably would have to up the uh, the memory that the server has. Because, ah, uh, oh. oh, come on. Because I, I'm no fool. I know, I know that it would use a lot of memory. Um, I'm not going to bother going and get more wood right now. Because I, I don't want to, if I'm frankly honest. But what I am going to do is start on the 3x3 uh, the free free supports. Piers, I think we concluded we would call them. For the bridge, probably got enough stone to make one because I know that the uh, the water is a bit deep around here. So yeah, could be an issue. We might not even have, we definitely don't have enough to even complete this one. Goes quite quite far below the surface. But that's fine. We're quite near the uh, the repository of stuff. <laughs> the deep storage facility. Um Did I even name it? I, I must have. Let's go have a look at what I named it, because I've forgotten. It can't have been that good. Some of them are funny. I don't think this one is. Deep storage. Oh. Deep storage isn't that funny, if I'm honest. Gone into the wrong room. That should be more than enough. We can always put it back. I need to do some more, like, um, mining to get materials. Uh, where's the sun? We've got plenty of time, so let's continue. Okay, that's the entire underwater portion of the first pier done, and that's the uh, entire first pier done in completion. And I just need to whack these little sticky out bits, again, technical term, on the side. And that's done. That goes down quite far. I like it. I'm not sure if I mentioned um, when we were first looking at 1.8, but there are now particle effects when you're under the water. Uh, I think that's quite good. I like that. It brings a bit more realism to the world. So, let's, uh, wonder how, this must be the same depth, surely. Or at least near enough the same depth. Now is the wonderful time. Oh no, good, it does line up. I was going to say, now is the wonderful time where I discover that I've built a nice freeway free plinth aligned to the wrong wrong bit. But no, I got it right. Cool, that's that one done. Uh, it starts to shallow out um, here, which is handy because we are running low on stone. And I don't want to go back down to the deep storage and grab any more. Yeah, I'm going to have to because I've got. A number of piers left to do, plus the whole end piece. Okay, that's quite interesting. Got a large divide. Ah, oh. and it's going to take a bit of digging out. 
Oh. Maybe jump. Ah. Undersea coal. Oh no. <coughs> Not good. <coughs> Not good. Stop. I don't like the idea of drowning. Either in reality or in the game. Please break. <coughs> I just killed myself. Well, I drowned myself. Nice one. Let, let's sleep. At least, like, in this version of the game, there's no experience or anything to lose, but and I know where all my stuff will be. Annoyingly, over there on the ground. Let's go get it. Uh, I probably should use a pickaxe. I think ice breaks faster with a pickaxe. Alright, yeah. I can see all my stuff down on the bottom. And the limited experience I had. Oh, let's put my trousers back on. Right, I'm pretty sure that's near enough everything. I hope it is. But I'm not sure. I'll never be sure. Never ever. But, eh. I mean, a helmet. I'm missing a helmet. It's over there. I see it through the ice. How did I get all over there? It's on my head. Oh, and bones as well. There we are. I think we've got everything. I hope we've got everything. There we are. Fully kitted out. That was a uh, traumatic experience. One I don't wish to repeat, and we will never speak of again. Moving on. Nice and simple. We're going to run out. I know it. In fact, we might not. We may. We're either going to be free short. We're going to be free short. Yep, no. Nope. And then we've got the entire rest to do. So let's go back to the deep storage. And then once we finish these piers, we'll end the episode. Where did he come from? And why hadn't he burnt up earlier? He must have wandered out of a cave. Or, no, there's no water around for him to have been sitting in. So he, uh, like I said, he must have wandered out of a cave. Interesting. Okay, that's that pier finished, and it should be nice and quick for the rest, because they should all be shallowing up. Well, I mean, they are all shallowing up, there's no should about it. I don't know why I say things like that. It's like, oh, I should get up for work in the morning. Well, no. no I, I will get up for work in the morning. There's not really much of a should about it. Oh, damn it. I missed place! How dare I! Although there have been a couple of occasions where I've um, very nearly not got up for work in the morning. I went out of work one day and uh, my I set I did set an alarm. However, it was like my first proper day of work, and uh, I'd set an alarm which I thought was great. That was unintentional. And I set my alarm for what I thought was 7 a.m in order to get in, into work for uh, 8 uh, which I thought, yep, plenty of time it's great, me being sensible uh, however, I had actually set my alarm for 7pm and as 7pm had already passed when I set it, I had no idea it, it would have already gone off um, so, naturally I uh, I didn't turn up at work until about 11 o'clock so 
It's not not the best start. Thankfully, like uh, they can't take my job off me, because um, otherwise they would have. But I mean, that, I can't be the worst person in the world. I'm sure other people have done far worse. Like, you know, not turning up at all. That would be a, a a good place to start with that statement. Okay, so that is the piers finished. Um, oh, just need to add the sticky out bits. So I will finish the rest of this bridge off camera because you don't. You watch me do the other one. You don't need to see me do this one. Um, so in the episode here, this is an unusual angle. We very rarely see anything from over here. I do need to pop into the blacksmiths while I'm here. Just to, uh, I've got a spare pickaxe in my inventory that I need to drop off. So I'll do that while I'm here. There we are. Sorted. Um, anyway, so that concludes this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a like using that little like button down below. If you didn't like it, um, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, please tell me why in the comments. Um, and I will see what I... Oh, that poor sheep's fallen down. Ah, uh, well. Sounds like a him problem. Um, yeah, if you didn't like it, tell me why. And use the dislike button if you feel so um, compelled. Uh, comment section is there. Likewise, uh, if you wish to tell me about any suggestions you have. Um, for what you'd like me to do going forward. Um, that is enderman damage right there. Um, I'm always listening for those. And if you want to be notified of any future videos in this series or indeed any other that I choose to make, please do subscribe to my channel. I will be most grateful. So lastly from me, thank you very much, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.